Wireless microphone systems have become more and more affordable over the years, and this is no different. So let's talk about this Synco G2 wireless microphone system. So the audio of this whole video will be from the Synco G2, either through the included lav mic or with the built-in mic in the transmitter. I do always post-process my audio, but I will let you hear some unprocessed audio from the Synco G2. At the moment, I'm using the lav mic that comes with it, but later on in the video, I will also use the built-in mic of the transmitter. So this Synco G2 is the A1 version, meaning that it has one transmitter and one receiver. There's also the G2 A2, uh, which has one receiver and two transmitters. But in this video, I'll be talking about the A1 version, so the version with one transmitter. So what do you get? Well, you get one transmitter, one receiver. One lav mic, one foam cover for the lav mic, one dead cat for the built-in mic on the transmitter. But it doesn't come with a dead cat for the lav mic that comes with it. One charging cable with two outputs, so a two-in-one charging cable, which is really handy one TRS cable for plugging into your camera or your audio recorder, one TRRS cable for plugging into a phone, and a good quality hard shell case where you can actually fit everything back into. Sometimes you get a nicely packed product, but when you try to fit it back in after you've used it, it doesn't really fit anymore because the packaging is so tight. So Synco definitely thought about usability when it comes to storing the gear and transporting it in this nice little hard shell case. So let's talk about the build quality. The build quality is quite good, although it's all plastic, but that also makes it very light. The three and a half millimeter jack input is also very nice. The plug fits very nice and tight in there and it won't just come out by itself. The clips on the back of the units are also plastic, but I think quite sturdy, and they are designed to fit into the hot shoe of your camera or a cold shoe mount, so you can mount it on top of your camera, which is very handy. The units have a rechargeable lithium battery inside that should last for eight hours and charge in approximately an hour and a half. Now, I think in most situations, eight hours of running time uh, with this kind of device is more than sufficient. I, can, I can't really imagine anyone needing more than eight hours straight of recording through a lav mic or uh, the built-in mic. At least I wouldn't be happy talking for eight hours straight. So what features does this system have? Well, in the transmitter, there is either the built-in mic that you can use, or you can plug in the, the included lav mic that comes with it. Both of the units have a TFT screen that show a level indicator, uh, whether the low cut filter is on or off, whether it's muted, and on the receiver you can see the gain setting. So the most important information is visible. Both of the units have a USB-C port for charging and they both have a power slash mute button. So with long pressing you can turn them on or off and with one press it mutes the unit. So you can either mute the sound on either the receiver or the transmitter. And on the transmitter there's a button to turn the low cut filter on or off for cutting out low frequency noises like wind or traffic. And there's a pair button, although when you turn them on they pair automatically and I have never used the pair button. The receiver also has a gain adjustment button and also on the top you have the ports, an output port which you connect to your camera or audio recorder and a headphone out port to monitor your audio. So let's talk about the usability of this system. It's a really simple kit to use. It's basically plug and play. When you turn them on, they pair automatically and you're good to go. 
The display shows him the most important information like a level indicator and whether it's muted or not, whether the low cut filter is on or off, but also a battery level indicator. Something they've really thought about at Synco is the usability and you can see that by looking at the manual. Now I don't usually pay that much attention to a manual when it comes to products like this, but with this particular one it's very clear and they even show different gain settings for different camera brands, which I thought was really nice. I think this shows how well thought out this product is and how much effort they've put into making the user experience a good one. When we talk about the range up to which the transmitter and receiver should stay reliably connected, Synco says that it's up to 70 meters. But what I found is that when the units are not in direct line of sight of each other, um, the signal cuts out much earlier than 70 meters. But if they're in direct line of sight, it seems to hold up to 70 meters. But let me ask you, have you ever encountered a situation where you actually need that big of a range with a system like this? I haven't, but I'm curious to know if you have. Let me know in the comments. I've switched to the built-in mic now with the dead cat on it. As I said earlier, the usability of this system is great and a big pro for this system. It's basically plug and play and the audio quality is also good. The low cut filter on the transmitter is nice to have, as is the mute button on both the receiver and the transmitter. It's small and lightweight, you can hardly feel it when it's in your pocket. And when it comes to audio quality, I think this Synco G2 is pretty good considering the price and the sort of system it is. And you can of course judge it yourself by listening to this video. Talking about the price, it comes in at 139.99 euros or $129, which is pretty cheap for a system like this and what you get, especially compared to the Rode Wireless Go 2 which comes in at around 200 euros or dollars. And I don't think there is much of a difference in the quality of the product. And the Rode Wireless Go 2 doesn't come with a lav mic or a nice hard shell case like this. There are also some cons to this system. For example, the gain increments that you can set on the receiver are a bit big. They go by three, so zero, from zero, three, six, nine, up to 12. The displays are very dim. It's almost impossible to see what's on the screen when you're in direct sunlight. Now that's not really a deal breaker for me, but it's something to consider. And unlike the Rode Wireless Go 2, this system doesn't have the option to record internally to have a backup recording. But overall, I think this Synco G2 is great value for the money and I really like using it especially because in my experience it's quite reliable and very easy to use. So as long as the units are in direct line of sight, they seem to have quite a reliable connection. So unless you really need the backup recording option, so the internal recording that the Rode Wireless Go 2 has, I think there's no need to spend extra money on a more expensive system like the Rode, um, when you have something like this that's good quality, that basically has all the features you need and has good sounding audio. Let me know what you think. Drop your opinion or questions in the comments. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and maybe hit that notification bell. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. One, two.